Right there, Manchester United have got a problem, and the problem is the right wing, and we need to find a solution for the right wing. And there's been a player that we've had a little bit of murmurings of links with, and I think the murmurings are relevant enough that it's worth us looking into whether or not they're, they're valid. And the player that I'm going to look into is Nico Williams, right winger, 21 years of age, athletic Bilbao. Now, the signings of Anthony and Jaden Sancho uh, initially were seen as quite game-changing signings. Um, I thought we overpaid for Anthony. Uh, I don't think he was quite the prospect that Jaden Sancho was. But ultimately, both players right now look like they have failed. Um, one maybe more than the other in terms of the fact that he doesn't play at all. But even Anthony, I, I think, looks at the moment like uh, a bit of a failed signing. At Manchester United, with the ongoing situation of Mason Greenwood, the ongoing situation of Jaden Sancho, we require someone on the right wing. Um, someone that can meet the high standards expected of a Manchester United winger. And as a club looks ahead, there's going to be a clear need for a very direct and explosive winger. Someone that is a creator first, that's going to supply the likes of Rasmus Hoyland down the middle of the pitch. Every winger that we have at the club at the moment is a, a sort of wide forward that's looking to come in and score for themselves. And I think if you have someone that's a little bit different, you might see some different sort of outcomes. And Nico Williams is one of the budding stars of that right wing position. And he does look a lot like Kingsley Coleman in terms of his play style. Now, he's currently got four goals, eight assists in all competitions this season. Um, and Athletic Bilbao, which I think is a fascinating uh, club in the footballing world, uh, known for their Basque only policy. That policy has resulted in development of some seriously exceptional talent within the ranks the club is something that a lot of clubs around the world can can copy they literally have one tiny region of spain is the only place they're allowed to recruit from and yet they seem to find a way of making that work because they can't dip into the the quick fix transfer market the same way every other club can kind of do so they make a real good job of nurturing and developing those those players and then when they do sell them well they need to be going at a bit of a premium because of the the scarcity of players that can come and actually play for athletic bilbao the current bilbao team is filled with um local heroes and fan favorites and one of those a big standout is nico williams at the moment now he is known for quick feet pace creativity truly dynamic with his uh with his footwork and he's got a real good balance and agility and he can play on both wings uh he can do so as a creative winger that's looking to provide for others rather than to come in for himself uh and he's got really good tactical awareness he's got a real good understanding of the game which allows him to make really intelligent decisions on the pitch very athletic unbelievable change of direction ankle breaking change of direction um, and obviously, as well as cutting inside and getting shots off, Nico loves to beat his man, get around the outside, hit the byline, and put a ball into the box for a striker. Which, I, I, honestly, if you had to ask me, the one thing that I would like to see United bring, it's that. And he plays with his head up. Um, he's got incredible dribbling ability. He loves a bit of a give and go. Um, and, and he's an energetic player that likes to put pressure on opposition, likes to lead the press. But I think he's also now learned the right times to press and the right shapes to press in. He's an absolute 1v1 machine, takes his opponents on, creates something out of nothing, um, and he can pass the ball through the lines. Step into next year, 2024, with confidence thanks to Manscaped, where resolutions are met and hairs are neatly kept. As the new year approaches, why not make the self-improvement a breeze by keeping your body well-groomed? Introducing Manscaped's Performance Package 5.0. That's where we're at, 5.0 
Ultra, the ultimate all-inclusive kit designed to help you feel clean cut and confident as you should. The fifth generation lawnmower features two interchangeable next-gen skin-safe blade heads and a standard one for taking a little bit off the top and a new foil blade for the ghost move wherever your heart desires. Did I mention that it's waterproof as well? Manscapes also threw in two free gifts, and that's the boxers and the toiletry bag. It's the boxers 2.0 and the toiletry bag 2.0 as well. It's time to upgrade your grooming game. Resolutions may come and go, but a well-groomed you is here to stay with Manscaped's latest and greatest. The performance package 5.0 is here and it has got futuristic tendencies. Including the bundle is the brand new Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra, the Weed Whacker 2.0 ear and nose hair trimmer, and the essential aftercare products like the Crop Soover, the Ball Aftershave Lotion, the Crop Preserver, and the Anti-Chafing Ball Deodorant, as well as two free gifts, and that's the Boxers and the Toiletry Bag. It's the Boxers 2.0 and the Toiletry Bag 2.0 as well. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code Housen at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com when you use the code Housen. Happy New Year to your balls. When you look at the failures that have existed at Manchester United for a long time, we've signed the so-called higher calibre of players and it hasn't really worked. Uh, and we've, we've looked to try and find some gems in the likes of Ahmad and Palestri. I think there's a middle ground where you're looking at players that are, you know, finding themselves playing, you know, he's got 11 caps for Spain. This is a guy that's already being recognised by some of the best footballing teams in the world. He's got a, you know, a lot of experience in La Liga. Um, I think he comes from a good pedigree. And I think he would add a lot to Manchester United. And I think he possesses incredible potential. He's showcased a lot of strengths that have already made him really dangerous sort of player. He's got progressive par carries, uh, successful take-ons. He's got a lot of blocks, which shows you the defensive output that comes with him as well. There is no doubt in my mind that he's an extraordinary talent who's already captured um, the attention of football fans across the world. The technical ability, the tactical awareness, the speed, the agility, the versatility, and the mental strength all tell me that this is a potential United player. And I like... Um, the footballing spirit of Bilbao. I don't know why, but I feel... It feels authentic and real to me. And, you know, one of the biggest stars we've had in recent years that connected with the fans uh, was under Herrera. And I just get the same kind of vibes out of Nico Williams, that he would come and connect with the fan base. Bilbao's a, a, you know, a, a working-class place that I think has a lot of similarities with Manchester. And... I think he could find a home here and become a world superstar here. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one. Laters. Hey, thank you for watching the video. If you are new around these parts, then don't forget to subscribe. My channel is proudly supported by my community on Patreon. If you'd like to get a little bit of extra content, a Discord group, meetups, five-a-side games, weekly podcasts, behind the scenes, and even an occasional bit of transfer news as and when I get it, then for the price of a pint, you can show your appreciation for the content that we make and get some goodies for doing so as well. Check the link in the description or click the button right here. You'll also find all of my socials here too if you want to follow me on any of those platforms. Nice one.